Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Now you all know that fall has hit. Whatever part of the country you're in, it is definitely fall. Now here in my part of Texas, it's fall, but it's still a bit warm. I think the high today was like 71 degrees, but it was quite cold this morning. So I decided I'd show you five ways that I'm going to be styling my black turtleneck or a turtleneck of any color. But I chose black because um, honestly, black is my favorite color and it's universal. If you like anything, you're going to love it in the color black. So I have lots of black clothes. <laughs> They're on the boat. <laughs> Um, anyway, but I'm going to show you five ways that I'm going to style my black turtleneck. If that is something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now, let's get started. This is look number one. But before I talk about look number one or option number one, let me tell y'all what happened today. So, um, we're all family, so I'm just gonna talk to you like I'm talking to one of my girlfriends. If you wanna skip past all this and just get to the looks, then you can do that. This is only gonna take a minute. So, I was at the Goodwills, <laughs> Goodwills today, um, shopping, and I will be doing a thrifted Goodwill type haul sometime in the near month, month and a half or so. Anyway, so I was at Goodwill today, the second Goodwill, I went to two. I was at Goodwill today at the counter checking out. I found a cute little skirt. Um, paying for it. Now, the corner of my eye, I see this, this, this lady, and it just—I don't know what about her. It just caught my eye. Just caught my eyes. So I turn around. And I'm looking, and it was this woman of a specific age, meaning she was my age, or maybe a little bit older. But what caught my eye, I realized about her was she had the most beautiful white. You know, have you ever seen people with gray hair, but it's white? It's just crisp and clean and white. She had the most beautiful white hair. And it was shaved, it wasn't shaved bald, it was really, really short on one side. And then it was long and it was swooped and it was swooped up on this side and it was blue on the end. It was so fantastic. And I remember looking and thinking, ooh, that's gonna be me. That is going to be me, that is going to be me. And, and then I, I paid for my uh, skirt and I said, I, I just have to go over and tell her how amazing I think she looks. Cause I just, I think, with, with that that positivity, I need to share it with that person. If I see someone, I think they're absolutely beautiful, or I like a pair of shoes they have, or I just like whatever. I, I feel I feel an urge to tell them. I don't know why, but I do. So I go over and I say, "Excuse me," and uh, she thought I was trying to pass her. She, she looked down and I said, "No, excuse me." And then she looked up and guess what she said? "You look familiar." <laughs> you look familiar. She said. I follow you on YouTube. <laughs> I follow you on YouTube. I said, yes, it's me, it's me. And we just talked for a couple of minutes and she just absolutely made my day. She blessed me. She told me to give production a hug and she spoke some so much positivity into my life and it just made my day. It made me feel so amazing. It's funny because I went over to tell her how amazing I thought she looked and she in turn, told me how amazing she felt that I was and how much she enjoys my channel and how it inspires her. And she told me to keep up the good work and it just, it just really, really made my day. But um, I wish I had gotten her name. I did not get your name if you're watching, but y'all should have seen her. She didn't even have, a, listen, first of all, and she said she was 70. She had not near wrinkle on her face. Her skin was flawless. And she said, for me and those of us my age, that she works out consistently several times a week. She said Monday is her big workout day. She does Pilates and everything. She was in fantastic shape. Her skin was flawless. She was beautiful. But just anyway, hello if you're watching. Uh, well, I'm sure you are watching because you said you follow me, but I just wanted to share that with you. It just made my day. It just really made my day. Anyway, I just want to share that. Now I'm going to get to the first style option for a black turtleneck. And again, you can use any color turtleneck, but a black turtleneck is universal. It's going to go everything thing and it is my outfit of the day. I paired my turtleneck with this blazer, this checkered blazer. This is from Zara and I really, really, really like it because it has these 
um, not gold tone. They're not quite silver, but it's like an antique silver gold buttons. So I can wear gold or silver with it. And I don't have a lot of silver. And I paired it with these shorts. These are an old pair of pants. I think they were fashion over jeans and I cut them and washed them so they get this distressed type of look. And I love this look because it's a combination of uh, casual and kind of classy and uh, uh, dressed up but not quite dressed up and I have it uh, with my black Louis Vuitton purse you can wear any color purse but since it's a more casual not quite dressy outfit you want more of a crossover type bag and I chose some thin pantyhose or you don't want like opaque tights it kind of give it a it kind of give <laughs> You don't, I didn't choose opaque tights because I wanted a sheer kind of look because it's fall and not quite winter. And I paired this look with my Delight 2 booties from Hotter Shoes. I absolutely love these. And I really love them because, you know, I'm here in Texas and they're, at, they're cowboy boot inspired. They got a little um, detail here and they kind of cut like a pair of cowboy boots, but they're booties. I felt like they would make a great pairing with this entire outfit. I chose these because I wanted some booties that I could walk in for a long ways. And you know, you know, I have a lot of heels and I have boots with heels on them, but I wanted something really comfortable because sometimes production, I go out um, and we'll go walking around to different shops and restaurants, not restaurants. We'll go walking around to different shops. There's a really cute shopping area that production and I like to go to and it has restaurants and shops and I like to walk around and I really wanted something comfortable and that would, actually fit the scenery or you know kind of help me blend in a little more here in Texas and these really really hit the bill so these are very very comfortable but this is your first style option get you a pair of shorts it doesn't have to be a pair of denim shorts it can be a pair of black leather shorts or faux leather shorts or some dressy shorts and some some pantyhose that are kind of see-through not opaque because it's fall and not winter you still want to be a little cool but warm and some booties and a blazer kind of dress it up you can also put a brooch on your blazer if you like but this is a very casual but kind of dressy outfit and it's very very comfortable and it looks really really intentional so this is look number one so your second option is pairing your black turtleneck as part of an all-black ensemble so as you can see here I paired it with these faux leather shorts I think this looks fantastic I kept on these sheer tights and I paired it with some Jessica Simpson heels they have a little cut out here but you can do it with any type of shoe why am i moving <laughs> you can use any type of shoe a booty or heel you can do pants you can do slacks you can do jeans you can do a black skirt whatever it is just pull out your black turtleneck find your second black piece find you some black shoes and just put the outfit together. I did pair it with my matte black Valentino belt because I didn't want any um, silver or gold hardware whatsoever. I really want the entire look to be all black except for the earrings and I think I achieved that look but just remember you can do it with a dress. You can put this on a black spaghetti strap satin dress with some black knee high boots or thigh high boots and that will look amazing as well but option number two is paired as a part of an all black ensemble okay option number three is something i'm sure you all guessed pair it with a great pair of jeans now they have to be some jeans that make you feel amazing that you feel look amazing on you that you absolutely love these jeans are from good american and they're actually the jeans that I wore in my very first YouTube video and I think it was five ways to style a pair of jeans. Was that it, honey? I think so, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll link it to the video at the end of this video. I'll link that video to this video so y'all can go back and look and see how far we've grown. See if you can tell how nervous I really, really was in that video. But yes, pair your black turtleneck with a great pair of jeans, preferably a darker wash, whether it be a black pair of jeans or a dark wash like this. This is, I think these are boot cut jeans, but they have a lot of stretch in them. They are extremely comfortable. They are a bit pricey. They're over $100, probably around $150. I'll have to look and see if they still have them because I've had these for a couple of years. Again, I've had my channel for two years, so I've had these jeans at least two years, but they are well worth every penny. And they do make jeans for curvy ladies that come up higher in the back so you can cover all that extra junk you got in the trunk that I wish I had but anyway but 
pair your turtleneck with a great pair of jeans and you can just pick up any purse, any color you like, any whatever makes you feel good that day, that's the purse you wear with your outfit. Okay, so your next option is to put your black turtleneck under one of your summer dresses. I know that sounds very counterintuitive, but just hear me out. I have lots of pictures. I've seen this style a lot of ways, and I think it's absolutely wonderful, especially for fall where it's still not too cold, still a little warm in the afternoon. You can do it with a dress like this. You can do it with a slip dress that looks really, really nice. Those satin or silk slip dresses with the spaghetti straps. This does have a much more substantial shoulder or sleeve, but you can do it with spaghetti strap dresses as well. Um, not, not the really thin rayon type dresses, just something a little bit thicker. You can do it with a midi dress like I have on, or you can do a maxi dress or a mini dress if you like, but I think this is a great combination. I want to pair this with some tall boots to help with the, keep myself warm. These are my thigh high Stuart Weitzman boots, but I thought this was a much better look than having them with booties. And I love this brown and black combination. You all know if you've been watching, I've been wearing brown and black a lot this fall season. And I think it's a really, really pretty combination. Paired it with my Fenty purse and I think it looks really, really cute together. I feel warm. I feel like I'd be really warm in the morning. Maybe a tad bit hot if it gets up to 70 degrees again today. But I think this is a really, really pretty combination. And you can do the black on red, on green, on orange, on yellow, whatever color summer dress that you have or you prefer. Uh, I know that's not something you would typically do, but just try it out. Just put it on on a Saturday morning when you have nowhere to go and look in the mirror and see how you like it and just try it. If you think it looks okay, I think this looks okay. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. Okay, and last but not least, I love to pair my black turtleneck with a satin midi skirt and some booties. I think it looks so chic and so elevated. It is very comfortable and just a gorgeous, gorgeous look. You can have any kind of skirt actually, any skirt, a midi skirt, a mini skirt, a maxi skirt. I just think it's really cute, but a midi skirt does it for me. The skirt is my pop of color. The black is my base color, but I think it looks so, so cute. And this will look great in red or orange or purple, just any color skirt. It doesn't have to be a satin skirt, but any midi skirt would do. You can do a wool midi skirt or even a cotton midi skirt, but just get you some black booties, a black purse with your black turtleneck. You can have some shoulder sweeper earrings or some cute and danglies like these. These are from Ana Luisa. But just, I think this is a great pairing. It's something you can wear anywhere. It's good for a date night out. It's good for a business meeting. It's good for a lunch with your girlfriends. Just a really cute, elevated, chic look. But that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the description box below. And if you have not hit subscribe and join the Angela Michelle YouTube family, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. You can hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified when we upload videos twice a week, then you can hit the notification bell as well. Again, thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me. Have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.